I recently went on record saying the Apple Watch Ultra was my favorite Apple product of the last few years, and I still stand by that, and I mean it 100%. Admittedly though, I wasn't using it to its full potential. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm gonna show you the perfect use for the Apple Watch Ultra's action button that I recently discovered. All right, so the action button, for those unfamiliar on the Apple Watch Ultra, is a orange button that's on the side of the housing. You can program to do various things. You can have it start a workout. You can have it turn on your flashlight or turn off your flashlight, which, yes, the Apple Watch does have a flashlight. Basically, the screen turns white and full brightness, and it's like having a flashlight on your wrist. But you can also launch shortcuts from the action button, and a recent conversation on Twitter pointed me in the right direction on how to get the most use out of setting the action button to launch a shortcut. So my friend Jared told me on Twitter that he had been using the action button on his Apple Watch Ultra to launch a menu shortcut, which then housed a bunch of different actions that he could take, all from pressing a single button. And so he was kind enough to share it with me. If you've never used Apple's Shortcuts app, it can be very complicated and complex. However, using this single shortcut should be pretty streamlined and easy for you, especially with the notes that I've left in there. So basically what happens with this shortcut right now is when you launch it, it presents a menu of, or, or a list, it's called a menu um, in the Shortcuts app, but it's a, it's a list of options. And so you can do things like launch an app, or you can start a workout, or control a scene or device that you have set up in Apple's Home app through HomeKit. And so I've created that shortcut with a few of those examples that you can fill in and alter and change to your liking. All right, so in the Shortcuts app itself, once you have this added, you could go through and add, in the section that says choose from menu with, you could hit add new item, give it a description, use some emoji that makes it easy to see what it is you are tapping, but don't keep, or keep the descriptions or the items short so you could see them on your watch's display. Don't make them too long. And then you could edit uh, the, the menu items down below that correspond and match with it. Once you have added the shortcut to the Shortcuts app on your iPhone, you now need to program the action button to trigger that shortcut. So in order to do that, open the watch app on your phone, scroll down until you find action button, and then tap on that. So there's a couple options or buttons here. So under action, what you'll wanna do is tap on whatever's listed there. Right now, for me, it's workout. And then towards the bottom of that list or the end of the page, you'll see a shortcut option, tap on that, and then go back a page. And then now there's a shortcut button you want to select that, and I labeled the shortcut I created for you guys called Action Button Menu. Select that and go back. You can now put your iPhone down. The next part is you're going to want to, now that we have the shortcut program to the Action Button, press the Action Button, which will then launch the Action Button Menu and present the list of options that we just went over. So if I wanted to, for example, launch the home automation shortcut, all I had to do was tap on it. If I want to go back into the menu and go to, let's say, launch my Reminders app, tap on Reminders. You can go through and add more or take away items from this menu and get as complex or as simple as you want. Hopefully the options that are currently in there give you a little bit of inspiration or at least a good starting point. Uh, to customize and use this shortcut for the action button to your liking. I personally have, outside of the example I set up for you guys, I control a lot of home automation stuff. Uh, I check my email quite a bit on my watch so I know if there's stuff I need to check uh, on a computer or my iPad. And then I launch a few apps and of course, still have my workout started from the menu itself. But you can do a lot more from it if that's what you wanted to do. And for me, hands down, this takes the action button from a single purpose button to controlling basically whatever I want directly with a press of a button and a tap on a menu item. So thanks, Jared, for the tip. 
Hopefully you learned something here and this is something you could implement into your daily workflow. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as the latest tech news and info.